Today, I'm going to show how dangerous UHF microwaves are. The power of UHF microwaves really impresses me. Just try to imagine, one microwave oven can produce as much radiation as 10,000 Wi-Fi routers, 5,000 cell phones or 30 cell phone towers can do. In order to prevent this power from breaking out of microwave ovens, there are metal double protection shields in microwaves. I want to warn you that UHF radiation can harm your health. Microwave ovens high voltage can be deadly, but it won't stop me. Having lifted the microwave ovens back up, we can see a big transformer. It increases voltage up to 2000 volts in order to supply the magneton with electricity, which turns electricity into microwave energy. Having lifted the microwave's oven back off, I understood that we can't turn it on like this, because its radiation spreads far and wide, affecting everything on its way. Not thinking much, I made a homemade can antenna. Now it's directed in the right direction. These little glow lamps prove it getting ionized by powerful magnetic radiation. But how does it affect humans? I can feel the heat like that of an oven. Seems like it doesn't do any harm. UHF microwaves affect equipments more than humans. Even when equipments were 10 meters away from a magneton, it began to break down. TV and mini center were making strange roaring sounds. Fill cell phone with tense radiation. Get ready! Look at this, it's smoking! Look, seems like the battery exploded. Hey Magneton, what have you done? When you use non-ionizing magneton radiation, you can generate plasmas. When the filament lamp is placed next to the magneton, a bright yellow shining cloud with shades of violet occurs. It looks like a lighting ball. If you don't switch it off in time, it will blow up. Even a clip under the influence of UHF microwaves turns to an antenna. It gets electromotive force enough to burn it up and to melt the clip down. Fluorescent and energy efficient lamps turn on from afar and shine brightly at my hands without any wires. Electromagnetic waves are visible inside the neon glow lamp. I've had so many requests to point the magneton at a kinescope. Let's see what will happen. It's buzzing. <laughs> Neighbors will come. <laughs> Did you like the experiment? Share it with your friends. I want to put your minds at ease. None of our neighbors suffered, because they all moved out of the city as soon as war in Luhansk raged. In our next video, I want to show how to use the magneton in unusual ways. The first one is burning pests out. The beetle abdomen underneath the scutellum is moisture laden. It's ugly. The waves immediately turn it into vapor. In the meantime, they don't harm a tree. The second way is melting metal. The magneton has power which is more than enough to melt metal. The third way is drying off grains and growths. The advantage of this method over others is sterilization. UHF wave kill pests and bacteria. The fourth way of using it is preventing taping. Did you know, if you apply a magneton to your room, it will break down all equipment on its way, such as tabs, pie cams, microphones, GPS, chips, and so on. And the fifth way of using it is dampening your noisy neighbors. As it turns out, you can easily calm down even the most noisy neighbors. UHF waves can walk away even through two walls and dampen any equipment. There are more ways of using it. We will carry on. For now you can watch my previous experiments. Watch what a microwave oven is capable of.